Hey, what's going on, everybody? Hopefully, everybody is having a good day, night, morning, evening, or whatever, whatever it is, wherever you're at. Um, I've actually wanted to take in doing 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 this video for two reasons. One, um, because when my my when my radiator dropped into my Corsair Flex monitor, it actually broke the monitor. And at the same time, too, on the front bezel of my V3000 Plus, it actually damaged the chrome wrap on this piece of trim. And yes, I've already removed it, so I've actually got to rewrap it in chrome. So I figured I'll take and make a video showing how to do this uh, for the specific for the reason of um, this is actually an excellent alternative to painting. It saves you money, it saves you time, and you get the same quality, if not better. And it d definitely lasts longer. Um, th this roll here, which uh, roughly half of it is gone, it's th uh, it's um, Vivid 3M uh, Automotive Chrome Wrap. Um, got it off of Amazon. This roll cost, I think it's about 15 bucks. I think it cost. Um, and it's got a five year lifespan out in the weather element. So being inside, it'll last literally as long as I want it to last. Um, and it does have a protective film on the chrome end. Um, and yeah, it's pretty much that. And um, as I said, it's automotive wrap. So it's good. So it's high quality more or less um now the reason why i'm putting that out there is you, you can buy the wrap in the rolls like this or you can buy it in actual sheets which i have that too but in this case being i'm only doing a, a a narrow piece i don't need to take and cut out a whole sheet and waste all that product and or material for something like this when this is more than enough for it um you can you can you can get the you can get the wrap that doesn't have to be chrome you can get the wraps in all different colors that any color you want red blue green orange yellow etc etc you name it you can get it um and the reason why i tell you that is again for people out there who paint computer cases and paint computer parts it's a fantastic alternative because if you think about it for the cost of sandpaper then your cost of primer then your cost of paint then your cost of clear You've bought probably about maybe two, three, maybe four of these rolls, depending on the quality of the paint that you buy. Now, you also got to look at the quality of the primer, the quality of the paint, and then the quality of the clear. You can very easily be dropping $50 plus dollars on paint, which there's a good three, four of these rolls right there. And this roll, this roll itself will last a while. Um, yeah, so it, it's an awesome alternative. Not only that, but you don't have to buy no sandpaper at all. Um, all, all, you, all you take and do when you go to put it down is when you go to do the wrap, you take and you use wrapping alcohol on a washcloth, which I'm going to do all that, and you wipe down the surface to make it nice and clean. And this is a factory paint that came on this piece, which as you see from when I peeled off the other chrome to do, to do this fix, there's zero damage on it from the chrome, from the chrome wrap. Um, now just give you a heads up. I'm gonna do this a little bit quick. I'm gonna do this uh, Quicker than I normally would just to get the video done So I'm more than likely gonna redo it after this because the purpose of the video is just to show you um, More or less how to apply it and then what it looks like afterwards um, Not going after perfect not going after none of that whatsoever So yes in this case, I'm willing to waste a little bit to make the make this video or make this content for this video as I said, I got two things going on here. Going to do, going to show how to do this as well. I I, I just want to use my GoPro. I'm I'm the more I the more I use it, the more I'm loving it. So about uh, four minutes in, and and the the, uh, the key with this stuff is, you the warmer the room is that you're in, the better it'll take to the metal. So yes, you'll be seeing me use my heat gun quite a bit to uh, work with this stuff because the, the cooler it is the harder it is to work with point blank it, it doesn't like to really you, you you want it to be warm to be tacky and to be flexible and I'll, I'll do more explaining as i go along doing this so let me get my gopro on my tripod and we can get to going here there so with that being said i'm just gonna take and squirt a little bit of rubbing alcohol on the washcloth here and I'm just going to wipe down the piece of metal 
And the whole purpose of doing this in the in the prep is any oils from your skin that get on the metal or any dust or contaminants that are on the metal when you lay down the chrome wrap it will show through the chrome and if you have oils it'll make it even hard, harder to get it to actually stick to the metal because i mean oil from your skin it's gonna it's not gonna allow it to actually stick well i mean it will it'll, it'll just be much harder and it will not last as long There's that, and I'm gonna. Now I'm actually gonna take this piece, or before I even get that far, I'm gonna get myself prepared. I'm gonna do this, and I'm doing this all in real time too. So there's my piece. There's my piece of chrome, and the, and the top of this has a clear protective piece of film on it. So when I use my card, when I use my card to uh, smooth it out, I ain't gotta worry about scra scratching this because all the scratches that you'll, that you'll see in it, well, you may see it in the video, but all the scratches you may see in it, when I peel that film, when I peel that film off, it'll all be gone. So there's my length that I want right there. Grab my razor blade, cut my piece off. Ah, I almost fell. And then there's my piece of chrome right there. And I'm gonna grab my heat gun. And I'm gonna heat up this piece, this piece of metal, so it takes, so the the rat takes to it easier. That's warm enough. I'm gonna get my razor blade. And I'm just gonna start the, the peel now. I'm actually gonna take and flip this around. Uh, no, that'll be fine. Take my razor blade now. And I'll get the, the wrap to start. Got it off. And then it's pretty straightforward. Just take and put it down. I want a little bit of an over, overlap. And with that being said, I'm gonna grab my credit card. And I'm just gonna run it down. I'm making this look a lot easier than what it actually is, is I've actually, I've been I did my, my all the pieces on my case with it, so I've got experience with it more or less already. Let's see, there we go. There's that. And now I'm just taking my finger and running it across. The purpose of doing that is I'm getting rid of the air bubbles. And there's the edge right there. Putting that edge in. Now what I'm gonna take and do is something I a little trick that I figured out my the, that works for me is I'm gonna take and put a little slit on the end here. And the purpose of that slit, it gives me an e it gives me an easier spot to start the cut, and I'm gonna take this little corner out. And the whole purpose of me doing that is it's gonna make it easier for me to start the cut to go down the edge here, which I'm about to show you. Flip it over, and there's my edge. It's already there. So you gotta get the end caught on the end of the desk there, so I got something to start off of. And once I get the cut to start, yeah, I'm getting that on camera. This is a little tricky. So I'm not used to do. Um, I'm not used to doing this on this on camera. 
There, I got it started. And now I'm going to take and do. Come on. I'm just going to flip this over and do it like this because I'm going to spend way too much time playing around with it like that. I'm literally just going to run right down the edge of the piece. <clears throat> just like that. Flip it over. Fill that piece out. I'm going to take and flip this over. Actually, no, you know what? I'm, I'm going to hit this end because it says there's like a little bend there. I'm going to take and I'm actually going to use the heat gun and get and heat up this wrap a little bit because that's going to make it easier to pliable to bend because, uh, again, the, the plastic protective film makes this a little bit harder to bend, so you want to warm it up to get it soft so it actually uh, applies itself better. So with that being said, I'm going to pull out the heat gun. Through the whole piece. You don't want to go crazy with the heat, you just want to get it warm. And you, there's your perfect edge right there. Hopefully, you get that. Hopefully, that's getting on camera. But there's your perfect edge every time. And run my finger right down this side. And another perfect edge right there. I'm going to come back through with my razor blade. Put the little slit in the corner here. This is the trick that I figured out myself. Anybody else who tries this, they could come up with their own tricks. Whatever works for you, this just works for me, so I do it. And then what I'm going to take and do is this piece of metal. I'm going to put it on, since it's got that little, that little edge on it I'm gonna take and put it at an angle a little bit to get that edge there and then I'm just gonna ride this right down just like this watch your fingers too nobody needs to make a unnecessary trip to the hospital Voila, and there's your perfect edge. Now I'm gonna take I'm gonna take my razor blade now. I'm just gonna go right across the back here. Always cut away from yourself, ladies and gents. towards myself a little bit so I'm actually gonna move over there there's that there's that now I'm gonna take my heat gun and go back over this entire piece since it's pretty much cut where I want it and I'm gonna more or less seal it in make the glue actually bite into the paint or yeah bite into the paint more or less that being said here we go Now, as I said, it's got that protective film on it, so you're not hurting the chrome at all. all I don't know if you can see any, any of the scratches that are on that chrome. It's not the chrome, it's just a protective film. Once I pull that protective film off, it'll be gone. There's that. Now I'm going to take my... Take the piece, take my finger, run it down the edge first to give me my perfect edge. Repeat it on this side, going down. I'm going to take my finger and go across the top. Run 
repeat again, go on the other side. Now you can see on the edge here, the little scragglers, that's no problem at all. All you take and do, just take the razor blade and literally just go right down the edge. I just see all that's coming right off. Hopefully, I keep my camera. See that? There's your, there's your little scraggler right there. Or I'm gonna call it a scraggler. You can call it whatever you want to. I'm just gonna finish that off, going down this side too. Again, cutting away. And I'm gonna repeat it on this side. Oh yeah, I'm going to go towards me, but I'm going to do it very slow. Because there's any slips, yeah, we don't want any accidents. And there's all the little stragglers there. Now what I'm going to take and do, hear that? That's that protective plastic film. So what I'm going to take and do is the back side of the razor blade being very gentle. Actually, I'm going to use the, the pointy part. And I can see a little bit on the very edge here. So I'm going to see if I can grab it from there, which it's not going to let me. So take my finger, get it to peel up. There we go. I got lucky. It peeled up, popped up. At that point in time, you just take it, peel it off. At this point in time, you do not want to touch this with the card because now if you scrape the chrome, it's scr if you scrape it, now it's scratched. But I'm going to take my finger, just run it down the edge. Do it on both sides. And then I'll just take my washcloth and just more or less wipe it off. So it's pretty much like polishing it more or less. And there's your piece. Perfectly chromed, or perfectly wrapped, edges perfectly good. You can actually see my reflection in it. There's the piece. Now almost 19 minutes in, typically, I mean, if I'm not doing this on video, I could do this in about 10 minutes. But I kind of, I went a little bit slower than I usually do for the purpose of the video, so. But yeah, with that being said, again, there's the piece, there's, there's your edge. Perfect edge, flawless. I'll flip it over. Show you this edge, perfect edge, flawless. I'll show you the end, there's your end. Got a little bit of a scraggler there. There, pushed it down, good to go. Perfect end, flawless. Perfect end, flawless. And that's all she wrote. Now, with that being said, um, yes, as you can see, um, my Corsair Flex 45 inches is gone. Uh, took and got rid of that. Um, come coming in next week, I've actually got the Audacity. I I hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. I got the Audacity G9 40 49 inch uh, ultra wide coming in the mail, so that's gonna be a lot of fun. And I've got one more little. Uh, kind of surprise coming in that I wasn't expecting but it's it's gonna happen so that I'm gonna leave that to, to the video because I'm gonna take in uh, I'm getting them both I'm getting the the surprise as well as the g9 they're both coming at the exact same time so uh, next week that's gonna be the next video coming up and it's gonna be both of the new toys I got coming in and we'll be doing a video on that and yeah that's pretty much that so 
a little bit over 20 minutes in with that being said hopefully everybody's having a good day night morning evening whatever it is wherever you're at i'm out bye